Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP UIFI projects. And in this video, we'll learn how to copy to clipboard and integrate that part into SAP UIFI. So you need to have basic knowledge of HTML and JavaScript because uh, the copy to clipboard functionality is a part of HTML and JavaScript. Also, you need to have IDE access, either a web ID or business application studio. Both will work fine. And certainly you need to have basic knowledge of SAP UIFI. Okay, so we'll jump to this article. So we have created an, an article for you and this article link will be shared within the description of the video. In this article, we have mentioned the steps and also some theoretical part. So all the code you can find here in this article with all the steps. Perfect. So let's jump to the code. So this is the code that we've created. This is output. So if I go to the code, we have a title of the page and we have a text area with hard coded text that this is a text I'm going to copy. And we have a button where we have written copy to clipboard and on click of that, we call a function called on press to clipboard. So before I jump to the controller, I will go to this uh, JavaScript file. So within this folder, JavaScript JS folder, we have created a file custom dom.js. Fine. So you need to create a folder and a JavaScript file like this. It's a very simple JavaScript file. So where you write four functions. So very first function is called create text area. It creates a text area in HTML format. So document.create element will create an element and the element type is text area and it will hold the value whatever value I am passing. So our use case this is the value. Will it, this value will be passed later on. So this value will come and sit inside the text area of HTML. This is the function for that. Then we have insert text area where we are pushing this particular element into the body of the HTML. So this HTML element that uh, UIFI provides, it has a body, right? If I go to index file, it has body, right? So with, after this element, the main body that is showing us the UIFI application, this particular dome will be inserted. This text area will be inserted. And when we'll call the third function, this will copy the text selected text. So how exactly the, the steps happen in HTML or in any other browser that you have a text area like this, you select the text like this and click right click and copy, right? So this copy functionality will be done by this function. And the last function written here is remove child. It removes the element that we have just added for copy functionality, this element, whatever we're inserting. Once we're done with the functionality, we remove it from the HTML element. So we'll discuss once again, once we'll go with the controller file. So the controller file has like the very first uh, thing that we do is like we get the JavaScript file in the controller and assign it to the global variable so that we can access this file anytime, anywhere. And then we have two functions. The get text function is a very simple function. It just text, you know, get the value from the text area that we have created. So if you see ID text is the text area that we have created for UI5. We get the value and return the value to this function. So in this function, we have created a promise. We get the value. So this promise is actually not required. We can write simply this thing and just pass the value. So why we have created this promise like when you are doing a bigger operation. So mainly you get a password from backend, you know, and you get the password and password is encrypted. You decrypt it and directly copy to clipboard. It happens, you know, in many website we have seen many, many use cases we have developed that. So in that use case, you have to actually do a backend call and that backend call will be a slow call. So that's why we'll need a promise in that use case. So this promise will call this functionality, get the text back in param. Param can be in a form of array. So we are passing and getting the very first value. So in the end, this entire operation is just getting the value, just getting the value, this value. This is the text that I'm going to copy. This value is first here. So once it is fetched, we call custom dome, create text area and pass this value. 
so this function is called a text area in HTML is created with this value the value we, have, we want to copy and then we call this insert text area so this will be called it will insert the element of HTML into the body of the dome and then we call text area dot select function this is the JavaScript function what it does it will select the value whatever value is there it will be selected so before any copy we have to select it right once the value is selected the last value the last uh, uh, operation will be to copy it so this function is called this function is a custom function where we implement the copy functionality so once the copy functionality is done the text area has been copied so we showcase the you know message in a toast message toast is sap ui5 official one right and we close this try functionality also once we are done we clear out the html element that we have inserted whatever we are inserting we clear it from the body so for that also we are calling remove child and just removing the text area that we have created so that's the entire operation that we are doing so if i go here i will just copy first this one so that you know uh, you see i have copied ui5 so now if i click copy to clipboard successful now i will paste this text this is the text that i'm going to copy so that's it that's the how you create this functionality and we'll see in another video thank you